Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be packing for a trip that I'm going to be taking tomorrow morning to go to the West Coast. We have Leah right there playing with her toy, so if it's a little noisy, it's because of... I know I look a lot different since the last time you saw me. Shorter hair. If you followed me on Instagram, I'm sure you voted on the polls if you wanted to cut my hair short or not. But if not, I apologize for not posting as often. Life, work, and school just got in the way and I've been a little busy lately. Hopefully from this video onwards, I keep up my video posting game up and hopefully you guys are happy with it. This is going to be a small little video where I show you what I'm going to do to pack for my trip. And since I have a class to teach in a few hours and I'm leaving first thing in the morning tomorrow and it's already past 3.30 p.m., Hopefully I can get this done. As usual, I've procrastinated till the last minute and finger crossed, I get all the packing done. Let's go. The first thing I'll need to do is brainstorm for winter outfits. This could have potentially taken a lot of time, but luckily I have a whole Pinterest board dedicated for winter outfits. Why do I need this, you ask? No good reason. I don't live in a place that has winter as a season at all, but I have this Pinterest board and this has finally come in handy. And yesterday I went shopping for a few winter appropriate outfits. And yesterday I went shopping for a few winter clothes and I'm going to show you all that and pack all that up. I'm going to be bringing this black pair of jeans. It is ripped, so I'm not sure how warm it'll keep me, but uh, I'm still going to bring it because I don't really have many non-ripped jeans. So there's only one way to figure out. Talking of non-ripped jeans, I'm going to be bringing this blue pair of jeans. I'm also going to be bringing this gray t-shirt with me. It is super thin, which is great for layering. And if it's hot for some weird reason, I can use this again. And I'm also bringing my navy blue Polo Ralph Lauren t-shirt. That is again, one of my favorites and a staple. And you can mix and match this whichever way you want. So that's great again. Also bringing this gray North Face insulated t-shirt that I got. It has long sleeves and it has a thumb hole. So that's just perfect. I'm going to be bringing this cute little pair of owl shirts that looks like this with a pink t-shirt to wear at home. I'm also going to be bringing this pair of joggers. I don't know what color this is. Um, a weird pinkish purple color. Joggers that I can wear both in the hotel or I can wear this back at the airport. So it's a two-in-one thing, I can decide. I love bringing things that I can use for more than one thing, so I have an option to choose when I'm there. Next up, I'm going to be bringing this cute little cream hoodie or I'm going to be bringing a black hoodie. I'm trying to make outfits in my head. I'm thinking either this with the blue jeans and the trench coat or a white tennis skirt with a black hoodie and the trench coat and maybe like knee-high socks or something. I don't know, I'll put similar pictures up here and maybe I should do an Instagram poll. You know what? I'll do that. <laughs> Lastly, I have my trench coat, which is in this color from Coach. It is pretty cute and hopefully this will keep me warm in the next few days. Here's a montage of me packing my suitcase for my trip. It's the basics, folding, rolling, packing. I really like rolling and packing, but you don't really care about that. So here's a fun fact about dogs. Did you know that petting a dog can actually benefit your physical and mental health? Studies have shown that petting a dog for 15 minutes can lower blood pressure by 10%. It can even help lower feelings of stress, depression, and combat loneliness. Sadly, I can't let you pet my dog through the screen, so here are a few cute little pictures of Leah. Finally done packing the carry-on. Now I have another bag left, which is my personal item, where I put all my tech. Now let me show you what I put in my tech bag. I have a few extra masks in here just in case I want to switch out my mask during my flight. And then I have my MacBook in here as well. 
I also have this black folder kind of thing which has all my documents I need for travel and also my pilot certificates. This is where I store everything that I need and I usually take this on all my flights that I fly to. Next up I have my MacBook charger that I take with me in case my MacBook needs a little bit of juice. This will help me keep editing and charge in my hotel room. I'm also carrying my AirPods Max with me and these are my sunglasses. Next I have my toiletries and makeup bag where I carry a lot of things. I have two shades of lipsticks, three eyeliners, a face wash, a mascara, a moisturizer, this one is a tiny moisturizer, a bar of soap, makeup remover, and so much more. I'm going to put this into my personal item. And this is another little bag that I carry with me. It has a few of my hair clips, hair ties, and other things. Then I have my MagSafe Duo charger, which I can charge my phone and my watch with, so that is extremely convenient. This is a pair of socks. I always carry a pair of socks with me all the time and this is also going in my personal item in case I need it. Then my AirPods Max goes right here on top so it is easily accessible when I need it. Then I'm carrying some snacks for the flight so I can binge watch my TV shows and eat some snacks. In this next zip that is on top, I carry a few essentials. This includes my wallet which has my driver's license and my ID for the airport. Then I have my Microsoft Arc mouse which is very easy to travel with because it folds into a little flat sheet and I can curve it to use it. Then I also have this tiny little roller perfume which is amazing to carry because it is so small and tiny and yet so amazing if I need it. I also have a few paper towels. One of them is a makeup remover and one of them is a hand sanitizer that I got from Cheesecake Factory. So yeah, these also go in my bag. Then I have a few band-aids in case I cut myself or if somebody else needs it. I have a couple band-aids with me always that I can use or give to somebody else. Then I have another tiny little perfume. This is a travel size sample perfume. I love taking their samples and taking with me when I travel. I also have one of these in my makeup bags because who doesn't like smelling good? And I also carry with me a small tiny box of Tylenol. So in case I have a headache or any other issues, I can take Tylenol and get a little better soon. And I also carry a small deodorant. It makes me feel super fresh even after a long flight. On the side pocket, I carry one pen just to make it easy for me to write down anything if I want to or sign documents if I have to and a water bottle. Before I get to TSA, I empty the water bottle so I can fill it up on the other side. On the other side of my bag, I have a zipper pocket. In this pocket, I carry a few things that are essential and easily accessible. The hand sanitizer, first and foremost, this is a necessity now, so I carry this here. I also carry a few lip balms, one from Nivea, and this one is my favorite. I like the one that comes in a tin, but this is way more easier to access when I'm traveling and on the go, so I'm taking this with me in my bag. I also always carry a hand lotion because washing my hands and sanitizing it all the time leaves it dry, so hand lotion is a must. And that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video and packing with me. I will take you on my trip tomorrow. I don't know when that video will come up, but I'm going to vlog it as much as possible and put it up here for you guys to watch. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video. I will see you in my next video. Until then, signing off, Lightning Girl. Bye!